Hello everyone, my name is Pratik Singh. In this video, we're going to talk about time frames. Now, as a technical analyst, you will choose different time frames to analyze your charts, and we're going to briefly discuss that. But what is a time frame? The candle we just saw in the previous video, the open high low close, that was based on a single day. But that day is actually a variable. So you can change that to a monthly, a weekly, even intraday. So let's look at each of them one by one so you have context on what a time frame is. The first one we'll talk about is a monthly chart. A monthly chart basically has, again, an open high low close, but it's on a monthly time frame. So the open of the monthly chart will be the first trade at the start of the month. The high will be the highest point the stock went in that month. The low will be the lowest point the stock went in that month. And the close is going to be the last day's 3.30 closing price for that month. And that gives us a monthly time frame. So let's see what a monthly time frame looks like. I'm going to choose Tata Motors again because we saw the daily time frame here. So I can select multiple time frames from this drop down. So I'll scroll all the way down here and select one month. Now notice when you use a monthly chart, you get only 12 candles in a year because each candle represents one month. So I can actually see from 2007 all the way to 2021 in just one chart because less number of candles are required to represent a lot of data over a long period of time. A lot of times, long-term investors may use this as a reference point to understand what the stock has been doing for, say, decades on end, and generally is used for a long-term investor who may want it to use as a reference if he's using it in his fundamental framework. And the reason why really long-term investors like it is you can see the trend really clearly. So we can here see from 1997, 1999, there was a bull run and then the market fell. We can see right from 2009 all the way to 2015, there was this great bull rally. And then, then onwards for this stock, the market went down. And of course, there was a small bull run in between as well. But you can clearly see the movement of this stock decades on end very clearly. The next most used time frame is actually the weekly time frame. And the weekly time frame encapsulates the data for an entire week, which means it's the open of the week, the close of the week, the high and low of the week on every single candlestick. So over here, I'll change the time frame from monthly, I'll change it to weekly. And we can see that now we have a lot more number of bars per year. In the monthly time frame, we had 12 bars a year. Here, we'll have about 52 bars because there are 52 weeks in a year. And again, even at this time frame, you can clearly see the trends, uh, especially during the year, because each candle represents a week. You can still see some macro trends on a weekly chart. The weekly time frame is most used by long term investors. But at this point, you might also get more active investors, almost traders using the weekly chart who have a horizon to hold a stock for one month to maybe up to four, five, six months. And the weekly time frame is a good time frame for that outlook. The next time frame below the weekly time frame is the daily time frame. And as you saw in the previous video, the daily time frame is just the open high low close for a single day. You've already seen this before, but I'll show it to you one more time. I can change this weekly to a daily. And now, of course, the candle from weekly has gone to daily. So you're encapsulating a day's data. You also get a lot more candles. It's about 252 candles. And I'll just zoom out to show you what this data looks like on a daily chart. So generally, a um, person looking at a daily time frame will not zoom out as much as I have because you can barely see any candle over here, right? And if you remember when we saw the monthly and weekly, this time frame from 2009 to 2021 was super clear to understand. But now because the time frame is lowered to daily, you can't really see the individual candles. But if I zoom in, for example, and in this frame, I can see about one and a half years or so, I can make out each single candle. So your outlook in a daily time frame becomes slightly shorter. Your perspective becomes slightly shorter. This time frame is mostly used by traders who have a horizon of a few days or maybe up to a few weeks. 
And finally, we have intraday, which is the smallest time frame that we'll be discussing in this video. This actually has a bunch of time frames. The intraday time frame is divided into few more options. So you have the 30 minute time frame, the 15 and the 5. Now, intraday traders may use other time frames as well, but these three are the most used time frames. As you might have guessed, the 30 minute candle is the open high low close of the last 30 minutes. The 15 minutes is the open high low close of the last 15 minutes, so on and so forth until the five minute candle. So this means that as you go lower the time frame, more information and the number of candles actually increases by a lot. And I can see over here by changing the time frame from daily to say 30 minutes, I can now see the intraday movement of this stock for yesterday and the day before. Also notice the open and closing times of the candlesticks. So as we know, the market opens at 9.15. You can see that the open is 9.15 because that's when the market opens. And the candle actually closed at 9.45, which is also the open for the next candle. And you can see that all the candles have a 30 minute interval basically means you've divided the day into 30 minute time frames and created candles for each one of them. Now I can actually go into a lower time frame and go to say 15 minutes and you'll see the number of bars has increased. Now I want you to notice that the market opened high here then fell all the way here and I'm going to change the time frame from 15 to 5. You'll notice the number of bars increased but the movement is the same. So let's see. Remember the market opened here and then closed here. I'm going to change the time frame to five. There you have it. You see, now you have more granular data for that particular day because you've gone into a lower time frame. Now, one last note for you. You can see that you can also check one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, uh, even 10 minutes uh, time frame. So you can explore different time frames using the charting platform that you use. We just discussed the three most used ones. So another perspective I wanted you to develop is looking at multi time frames to decide a point of view. Now, we can't really do technical analysis because we've not learned it yet, but let's try something. Let's only look at the price trend in multi time frames and try to assume if the market was going up, it will continue to go up and just pretend that we are developing a point of view. So let's do this as an example. It'll be fun. We'll go to the 30 minute time frame and we can clearly see that the market moved up and all the falls were actually shorter, but the move ups were actually longer, which is why the price went from 287 all the way to a high of 306. I think we can agree on the 30 minute time frame, the market is actually trending up, correct? Now let's go one time frame up and see whether the market is still up or not. So I'll go from 30 minutes to say one day. That changed a lot, didn't it? So now we can see that over the last few days, actually almost a month, this stock has been falling. So would you say that the market, which started at what, 358, slightly higher, and it went to a low of 284, is actually moving up. In this case, it's very clear the market just did this wave and it's actually falling. So the point of view from a daily time frame is that this stock is in a downtrend. Yet, let's go one step ahead and I'm going to open the weekly chart. Didn't that change everything? Now, instead of seeing a month, I'm actually looking from October till August start. And I can see that this stock is in a massive uptrend. It actually started at 129. It went at a high of 355 and is trading at 298. It's almost 300 rupees. Clearly, the trend over here is up. And finally, I'll just check the monthly chart, which will be very similar to weekly, I'm guessing. Oh, isn't that interesting? <laughs> uh, we can see that since 2017 on the monthly chart, Tata Motors has been in a massive downtrend. It's only here around 2020 September when we started moving up. So the trend, I think, is not very clear or very obvious on the monthly timeframe. 
So I hope that made sense looking at multi time frames and developing a point of view. There's no correct or wrong point of view. You just have to decide what time frame works for you and develop a point of view based on that. It's important to note that no two intraday charts will be exactly the same. So when you use different platforms, you might get slightly different ticks on data, but that doesn't matter because they'll convey the same information. The next thing we're going to talk about are the key assumptions every technical analyst makes. That we're going to discuss in the next video. The key takeaways from this video are 